when you drop a stone from your hand, it falls to the ground. It's an example of free fall. Whenever objects fall towards the earth under this force alone, we can say that the objects are in free fall. The stone accelerates towards the earth and this acceleration due to the gravitational force of the earth is denoted by lowercase g. Using a few mathematical equations, we derive the value of g as this. Remember, this is only for free fall for objects very close to the earth. Uppercase g is the universal gravitational constant. m is the mass of the earth and r is the radius of the earth. So for specific case of objects close to the earth, we get the value of g as 9.8 meters per second squared. But do you know what's interesting? This acceleration is not dependent on the object's mass. This m is the mass of the earth, not the object. Why is this interesting? Let me give you a situation. Say you're on the fifth floor of a building and you have a stone in one hand and a piece of paper in the other. If you drop both together, which one will reach the ground first? Or will they reach simultaneously? The stone will reach the ground first. Why does this happen? As it's independent of mass, both should fall on the ground at the same time, right? The answer to this is air resistance. When objects are falling towards the ground, the air offers resistance in the upward direction. And the resistance offered to the paper is more than the resistance offered to the stone. And that is why the stone falls to the ground first. For a moment, let's imagine a room with no air. It's vacuum. Now from the ceiling of the room, if a stone and a paper are dropped, will they fall to the ground at the same time? The answer is yes. They will reach the ground at the same time because there's no air to offer resistance. So this was an important concept we learned. Another thing we know is the acceleration g is constant near the earth. So this means that all the equations of motion we'd seen for uniform acceleration will be valid here. Do you remember the three equations of motion? Here they are. Here a can be replaced with g. That's for free fall. In the next video, we will solve word problems related to these equations.